Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the strap on a Blancpain swatch 50 fathoms using our new toolkit made specifically for this purpose. So I'm using the new Ocean of Storms in this video, uh, which is by far my favorite one in the collection, but this is the exact same process for any of the Blancpain swatches. You're going to see that our toolkit comes with two different pieces, this round base tool that has a rubbery surface on the bottom and this screwdriver. And this is going to make it a lot easier for you to take off the fabric strap and put a rubber one on. That being said, let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the fabric strap. So you want to loosen it up just like that. Kind of pull this out, pull that out, and then ultimately pull the whole thing out and now you have your strap removed. Uh, which, by the way, it's really nice to put a rubber strap on this because I think one of the coolest parts about this watch is the movement, and the fabric strap blocks it. But here, we can see the movement. Anyway, you're gonna notice now that you have these two bars in here, and they're pretty much locked in place. So, if you just take a screwdriver and try to undo it, nothing is going to happen. That's where our base tool comes in. To take off these bars, you want to put the base tool on a surface. Make sure it's something that is going to be able to be a little bit adhesive to. So you want to line this tip up with one side of the screw. And you'll see that on the side of the watch, there are two screws. Same thing on the other side. Once this is lined up with the screw, you simply take your screwdriver and you're going to go counterclockwise. And as you do it, you're going to see it come loose. And you're going to pull it right out. Now when you take this other side out here, make sure you're really careful because it is very small and you can see it right there. We're going to repeat the process on the other side. So again, take our base tool, line it up to one side, take our screwdriver, go on top, counterclockwise, and you're going to see that small part pop right out. You could do it the opposite way where the big part would come out like we did the first time. So either way, just be careful with these small parts and you're going to see that this is going to come right out. And now you have your watch with no strap and these screws completely taken out. To install your strap, you're going to take your strap and this is our new FKM jungle camo. You're going to put it right in there in the lugs and we are now going to take this and put it in. You'll notice that one side here uh, has, it's kind of hollow in there, which is where the small part is supposed to stick into. That's the part we're going to stick in. So we're going to put it in there, line it up with the holes on the strap, and we want to come around here in the other side, and you can kind of look through the hole there, and press it in as best you can to kind of make sure that it lines up right in, in there. So you're going to come in here, you can kind of get a visual on it, and you just want to press that strap in. Once you have the strap pressed in, you want to take your small piece, and it's really tiny, but you'll notice that one side has the place for the screwdriver to go, and then one side has the threads, and the side with the threads, the little narrow one, is what you're going to put into the hole here. So you're just going to drop that little piece right in. Once you have that piece locked in, I usually just put my finger on there to make sure it doesn't come flying out. Line the bottom up with the base tool. And now you're gonna come over here and do this clockwise. Make sure it's nice and tight, don't go overboard. And now you should be good. So now we have one side of the strap installed. We're gonna come around and do the exact same process on the other side. So again, line up the strap in there We're going to take the long part. Remember, the little hollow part goes in first. That's what the side with the threads is going to go into. Drop it right in. Come around the other side. You want to line it up to that hole. And just give it a nice little push to get it in there. And you, at this stage, you shouldn't see any part of that bar sticking out. It should be pushed in as far as possible. It goes in very easily. You just gotta line it up to that other hole and you'll see it lock in place. Now we take the small piece. Again, one side has the threads on it. Stick that in there. Come around, line the bottom up with the base tool. And you're just gonna screw it in clockwise. As soon as you feel it stop, 
just stop. You don't have to go overboard with it. And now we have it. The strap installed on the Blanc Pond Swatch 50 Fathoms. And you can enjoy that nice case back. Thank you all for watching. Again, this toolkit makes changing the strap on this watch exponentially easier, and it's for sale now on our website, horrorstraps.com. We also sell a very wide variety of straps in different materials, different patterns, different colors, and we're releasing a lot of new ones soon. So stay tuned, and thank you all for the support.